G'day, g'day everyone. Look what I got to show you today. A cute little bearded dragon. We're lucky enough to have these running around wild in Queensland, Australia, all across the Somerset. Beautiful little lizard. Somehow he actually managed to make his way into the house. So we got him before the cats did and I'm going to release him out in the front garden. He's only a young one, still very small. A lot of people that keep reptiles have a bearded dragon. They breed them in captivity and you need a license to keep them in Australia. But this is just a wild one so we're going to release him again. He's being nice and quiet, he hasn't tried to take off at all. They've got all these rough little thorns around their head and their neck. He'll eat everything from ants, cockroaches, moths, butterflies, anything like that, whatever they can get. Plus, I think they also eat a bit of vegetation, but they do like meat. So I've seen them catch insects on the run before. They're pretty good at it. When he gets bigger, that bit around his neck is able to puff out, and they use that like a defense. Puff up their neck, and that's how they get the name, the bearded dragon. They've got that real rough, thorny little beard underneath that they can puff out. And inside their mouth is a bright yellow. They open that up and that also helps to scare away predators. He's been so good, been really still while I've been holding him. I'm just going to put him in the front garden and let him go. And we'll see what he does. He's getting ready to run. <laughs> I see you. There we go, safe and sound in the garden. I have got little bits of log and even a couple of saucers with water in there for just that sort of thing for lizards if they want any. Right, thanks for joining me while I release the little bearded dragon. Remember everyone, take time for the simple joys in life. Bye.